Website performance is important because visitors on your website don't want to wait a long time for page content to show up. Let's take a look at what it takes for page content to start rendering on your website and what you can do to optimize that. You can also find these tips and more on our blog. Every website starts a loading process by requesting the HTML document from a server. This document describes the content of the website and references other resources that need to be loaded, like images or style sheets. There are two important factors you need to consider to load the HTML document quickly. First, you need a fast server response time, as measured by the time to first byte metric. If your website spends several seconds loading content from a database or running through complex rendering logic, then that will delay all other content on the page. You also need to consider the size of the HTML document. Larger HTML documents will take longer to download, delaying the page load process. Once the HTML document is ready, the browser starts loading other resources like style sheets, JavaScript files, or images. Because one website resource often triggers the reloading process for other resources, a visualization called a request waterfall is often used to explain where different page resources are loading. You can see an example of that here, with the browser starting to load the page on the left of the waterfall column, and then gradually, as different resources are loaded, content starts to show up on the page. Not all resources in the waterfall have the same performance impact. Some are what's called render blocking, which means no page content can appear before they are loaded. That usually applies to CSS style sheets and sometimes to script tags as well. What can you do to load these resources faster? First, whenever possible, try to load them from the same server as the HTML so that the existing server connection can be reused instead of creating a new one. Second, reduce the file size by loading only necessary content and avoiding large embedded images or fonts inside CSS files. And third, make sure that the browser notes that these requests are important and that they should be given a high priority. In contrast, less important resources should be low priority. And one way to achieve that is by deferring off-screen images uh, by using lazy loading. And for that, you can use the native loading equals lazy image attribute so that only visible images are loaded. Finally, you can also change script tags to not block rendering at all. The async and defer attributes on the script tag tell the browser that it is okay to start rendering page content before the script has finished loading. So far, I've talked about making the page start to render as quickly as possible. And that's usually measured by the first contentful paint metric. But really what visitors care about is the main page content. For example, the largest image on the page. And that's why Google and other tools use a metric called the largest contentful paint, or LCP for short. If the LCP element is an image, then there are a few things you can do to make it load more quickly. First of all, you can optimize the image. Use a modern image format like Aviv or WebP to achieve good compression while maintaining a high image quality. Also make sure that the browser discovers the image early and that it's high priority. By default, images are low priority in Chrome, and the fetch priority equals high attribute can tell the browser that this is an important resource that needs to be loaded quickly. Loading resources from the network is a really important aspect of page performance. But another factor is what's happening on the browser main thread as the page is loading. A lot of delays come from the CPU processing that's necessary to run JavaScript code and perform the client-side rendering calculations on the page. To see if that's the case in your website, take a look at a CPU time or total blocking time metrics when running a page speed test, or collect a performance recording in Chrome DevTools to see what exactly happens in the browser when your website is rendering. Ultimately, every website is different, and many performance tools like PageSpeed Insights or the Debug Bear website speed test can give you tailored recommendations based on an analysis of your website. So run your website through one of these tools to see what exactly you can improve and what the highest impact optimizations would be on your website. To stay on top of your website performance for the long term, you also want to set up continuous monitoring. That's what our tool, Debug Bear, is built for. We can track results for scheduled performance tests, keep track of the data from Google's Chrome user experience report that impacts Google rankings, as well as tracking real-time data from actual visitors on your website. Sign up for a free trial to get detailed performance insights and set up alerts to quickly find out when something is wrong with your website performance.